good YouTube Quinway basketball analysis coming to you with that instant analysis on analysisplayground.com slash on YouTube. We're going to talk about the Milwaukee Bucks going to 22 and 12. They're 14 and 3 at home. The Minnesota Timberwolves fall to 16 and 19. They 7 and 11 away from Minnesota. Um, they lose 123 to 114. Giannis and Tentacumpo continue his dominant season. 43 points, plus 9 and plus minus, 3 personal fouls, 5 turnovers, 2 blocks, 1 steal, 5 assists, 20 rebounds. So a 40 and 20 game for Giannis and Tentacumpo. He also shot 14 of 21 from the free throw line, 1 of 1 from the 3 point line. He knocked in 1 3, didn't attempt too many, 14 of 23 from the field. Brooke Lopez, 13 points, plus 6. And plus minus, he fouled out with six personal fouls. He also had three turnovers, four blocks, one steal, six rebounds, three or four from the free throw line, or three from the three-point line, five or 11 from the field. Javon set beat Carter, 10 points, plus two and plus minus, three personal fouls, three turnovers, one block, five assists, eight rebounds, two or two from the free throw line, two or four from the three-point line, three or six from the field. Pat Connaughton didn't shoot the ball good. He came, he had the injury, hasn't been able to come back to the form that he was even during the championship run, even the last year form. He only had two points, one personal foul, one turnover, one steal, one assist, four rebounds. He was 0 of 6 from the three point line, didn't even get to the free throw line. He was 1 of 7 from the field. Just have been Ted Eble all season. And it's just sad to see Jay Grayson Allen, seven points. Plus one and plus minus, one personal foul, two turnovers, one assist, four rebounds, one or two from the free throw line, two or four from three, two or six from the field. Sumu, zero points, negative three and plus minus, one turnover, one block, two rebounds, or one from the three point line, or two from the field. Bobby Portis is a double double machine, 22 and 10. He played better because um, Brooke Lopez got in foul trouble, so they needed to use him more. So he was. Uh, Plus seven and plus minus, one personal foul, one turnover, one steal, one assist, 14 rebounds, 101 from the free throw line, three of five from the three point line, nine of 17 from the field. Joe Ingles finally had the best game of his season uh, for the Milwaukee Bucks. 14 points, plus 10 and plus minus, three personal fouls, four turnovers, 10 assists. This is one great game for him. He had many bad ones, but you just hope he can continue to build the steam in the right direction, and his self-esteem should be higher because a game like this, you just hope he can continue to perform at this level or close to it. Five rebounds, four or seven from the three-point line, five or nine from the field. A.J. Green, seven points, plus nine and plus minus, four personal fouls, one assist, three rebounds, one to one from the free-throw line, two or five from three, two or six from the field, and Marjan Bochamp, five points, plus four and plus minus, three personal fouls, one turnover, one steal, one assist, two rebounds, two, one or two from the free throw line, or oh, three from the three-point line, two or six from the field. Serge Ibaka, Thanasis, Jordan, and Wesley Matthews did not play coach's decision. They shot 46% from the field, 35% from three, which is good for this team this year, 69% from the free throw line. You would like to see that improve in the next couple games and throughout the rest of the season, including from three. They have the capability to be a great shooting team, not an amazing one, but you will take that. 36 to 37% is doable for this team and this roster. 68 rebounds, 25 assists, 5 steals, 8 blocks. They also had 21 turnovers. They had way too many personal fouls with 25, but the Bucks did outscore them um, this game, even though they didn't shoot the ball particularly well from the free throw line or three. Minnesota outscored them 34 to 33 in the first quarter. 27 to 17 in the second quarter. The Bucks made a, a insurmountable comeback. That's what they thought, but they was able to do it. 39 to 22 in the third quarter, and they also used the fourth quarter, 34 to 31, to beat the Minnesota Timberwolves pretty handily. Um, at the end of the game, Jalen McGann goes four points, negative four and plus minus four personal fouls, two turnovers, one steal, one assist, two rebounds, two or five from the field. Kyle Anderson seven points, negative thirteen and plus minus five personal fouls, four assists. One rebound, one to three from the free throw line, three or five from the field. Nas Reed, 16 points, negative six and plus minus. Five personal foul, one block, one steal, one assist, seven rebounds. Two of eight from the three-point line, seven and 19 from the field. D'Angelo Russell continues to have a terrible season. He has been doing this since he's been in Minnesota. Really has been one of the biggest disappointments. Um, he was supposed to go there to team up with Towns and make a splash and get back to all-star D'Angelo Russell. The opposite happened. He went back to L.A. D'Angelo Russell, which is unfortunate. 
because they really needed his offense this game and throughout the season, and it just has been hit or miss, and it's been more missed than anything else. Negative 11 and plus, plus minus, three personal fouls, one steal, seven assists, five rebounds, eight to eight from the free throw line, one to five from three, three or ten from the field. Anthony Edwards, 30 points, negative four and plus minus, one personal foul, one turnover, two blocks, four steals, one assist, 10 rebounds, eight of 14 from the free throw line, two of six from three, 10 of 20 from the field. So he shot 50% and had 10 rebounds. Matt Ryan, 10 points, plus seven and plus minus, one personal foul, one turnover, four rebounds, two of two from the free throw line, two of six from three, three of 10 from the field. Um, Knight, zero points, two personal fouls, one block, zeros across the board. Luca Garza had one of his better games since getting dropped from Detroit. 16 points, negative one and plus minus, four personal fouls, one turnover, one assist, three rebounds, 66 from the free throw line, or one from three, five away from the field. Austin Rivers continue to have a terrible season also for the for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Zero points, negative five and plus minus, two personal fouls, one turnover, one assist. Zeros from the free throw line, zero of one from three, oh two from the field, and Noel, sixteen points, negative eight plus minus, one person to foul, two turnovers, one block, three steals, two assists, four rebounds, one to one from the free throw line, one to three from the three point line, seven to fourteen from the field. Minyot, Forbes, Moore Jr. did not play, although they was healthy coach's decision. 43% from the field as a team, 26% from three, which is abysmal, 76% from the free throw line, which is decent. You want to see more from there, although they didn't have the ability to make them. They should have been able to make them. It's the easiest shot in the game, and they have capable shooters from the free throw line. 33, 36% from the rebounds, 18 assists, 10 steals, 5 blocks. Eight turnovers, 28 personal fouls, 114 points. They fall to 16 and 19, 7 11 away. Bucks improved to 22 and 12, 14 and 3. They had no Drew Holiday. They had no Chris Middleton. They had no Rudy Gobert. They had no Carl Anthony Towns. The Bucks was able to get it done. They played defense. They played hard. They moved the basketball. And they relied on Giannis to be the most dominant player in the league and the best player in the league, which he is at this point in time. He don't get the MVP credit because he has some stinkers in this stretch, in this month stretch. But he still has took it serious and put the work in and feel like he can get better. He continues to get better, and I continue to see it in him that he wants to. And I see the work that he has put in, and the results are there. Other than that, if you want to continue to like, continue to like. You can check out my Facebook page, my Instagram, my Twitter. That will be on my channel. Click my channel. They will be in the description in the banner. You can find um the my facebook page like on facebook also check out my podcast on google Podcasts and apple podcasts basketball analysis or you can search analysisplayground.com and you can listen to the podcast if you don't want to see the video version it will have ads just like the channel because it's, it's a way for me to make money if you want to buy merchandise you can also hit me up on instagram facebook and on twitter if you want to buy merchandise i can get it shipped out to you i can meet you local or i can ship it out to you locally too if that's what you prefer thanks for supporting the movement thanks for subscribing thanks for having the best year i haven't had in a long time when it comes to likes and growth i appreciate it as we round out the year let's continue the positive energy let's continue the growth and i'm happy i'm good and the channel has been at an all-time high that's a positive and i love seeing it i love to see it continue to grow in 2023 so let's keep that pushing let's keep that forward and let's keep liking and sharing so that's another way you can support the channel and it's the easiest thing to do it only take one second to click a button other than that i'll see you guys later